Hi everyone. In this short little video, I just want to show you how to do some uh, calculations of labor force purchase or labor force utilization rates. So what we have here is data for the United States for March 2013, where we've got the population, and here we're defining the population as those people who are of working age, that's 16 years and older, who are not institutionalized, so they're not in prison someplace. And this data is in thousands of do thousands of people, as in all of the data you, you, that you're looking at. So basically what this says is the population of the United States was 244,995,000, or 244,995,000 people. Okay? Of those uh, people who are 16 years and older who weren't institutionalized, there were 155 million uh, and 28,000 people in the labor force. Um, and that labor force is broken down into people who are employed and unemployed. And you'll notice if you add the employed number together with the unemployed number, you're going to get the labor force. Because we define the labor force as all those who are employed plus all those who are unemployed. Now, to be employed, you have to have a job, which is not big, big of a surprise there. And there's 143,286 people who had a job. Okay? To count as unemployed, you have to... You meet two criterions. It's not enough to not have a job, but you also have to be actively seeking for work. In the United States, we define actively seeking work for actively seeking work as someone who's looked for a job in the last month. And there are 11,742,000 people who fit that description back in March of 2013. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some just basic calculations. One is the labor force participation rate. This is just going to be tell us what fraction of the population actually is engaged in um, uh, the labor force. And that is as simple as calculation as you might think. You first, you want to know how many people are in the labor force relative to the, your population. So, well, let me actually do the general one here. It's going to be labor force divided by population which for us is going to be 155 million and 28,000 oops 28,000 divided by 244 million and 28 and when you do all the multiplication out you should get oh I believe the number is 0 0.633 now it's conventional to multiply all these numbers by 100 so that this number 0.633, which means 63.3%, is expressed in percentage points. Okay. So that's pretty much it. And oh, I forgot to mention, all this data comes from the household survey. So remember, there's two basic surveys we can get all our labor market data from. One is a survey of about 60,000 households that's done every month. That's also known as the household survey. That's where this data comes from. Another source of information is from the Establishment Survey, which is a survey of, I believe, it's about 400,000 uh, firms every month. All right. So the labor force participation rate in the United States was 63.3% back in March of 2003. Okay. Now, another way you can look at labor force, what's going on in the labor force, and how many people are working, and how well the economy is doing in that respect, is to look at the employment to population ratio. Now, the labor force participation rate is basically telling you what fraction of the labor force or of your population is act actively looking for jobs. And that's 63.3% of the population, okay? Or of the working, of 63.3% of the population is actively engaged in the labor force, either as having a job or as looking for a job. Another way you can look at f what's going on in the labor force is you can look at what's called the employment to population ratio, which is just the fraction of your population that has jobs, that has a job. So I'm just going to call this the EPR, employment to population ratio, and that's exactly what it sounds like. It's employment divided by the population. So that's going to be 143,286,000 divided by 244 million. 995,000, and that comes out to 0 0.585, i.e., again, it's pretty standard to multiply by 100, we get 58.5%. So what that basically tells us is 58.5% of the working age population in the United States actually had a job in, uh, actually had a job. 
in the United States back in March of 2013. Okay, So that's a relatively straightforward calculation. It gives us a little bit different information than the labor force participation rate. Uh, the labor force participation rate is telling you what fraction of the uh, uh, population is trying to find a job or has a job. So it's how many people are actually, or what fraction of the population is in the labor force. Whereas the employment to population ratio tells you what fraction of the population actually has a job. Okay. Now, another calculation, and this is the one that makes all the headline news uh, with every, uh, the first Friday of every month when the unemployment rate data comes out, and it's called the unemployment rate, which I'll just go ahead and label as UR for simplicity right here. Now, the unemployment rate is defined <coughs> as the number of unemployed divided by the population. Now in March 2013, that's going to be 11,742,000 people divided by 155,028,000 and that comes to, I believe the number back then was 0 0.076 which again, it's conventional to go ahead and multiply this number by 100 so we're talking in percentage points, so this will be 7.6% of the U.S. population was officially unemployed back in um, March 2013. Okay, so that's it as far as uh, the basic labor market calculations go. So this is one set of calculations. There's a whole other set of calculations in your book, and there's a whole uh, other set of calculations in the homework assignment. So between all three of these, you ought to be able to figure out how to do these simple, straightforward calculations for an exam or a quiz or whatever. All right, next we'll talk about problems with the official unemployment rate measure and why it might understate the actual unemployment rate.